Hi, this is Jan Ribbon of the PSF Podcast. So it's a hockey talk and again for the first time podcast. And I am with some of the I know oh, I'm so proud of. No, I hope I from at least my job in California. State champion. Poet, right? For, yeah. for, for, for the junior Elmira Impact. Impact. That's yeah. right. Just call him Elmira. Number 28, Kyle Mike. How are you doing, buddy? Not bad. You should be, man. You should be. Now, you're a little behind I just was. Because I, well, I don't want to get into it real quick. But first of all, how was it here? Oh, it's funny. Organization is pretty good. Uh, they have this team. like a lot of good guys. Uh, young team. Uh, a lot to improve. A lot of good. I think good. Excellent, excellent. So today we're in Springfield. How about the team playing tonight? What do you know about them? Uh, I know it's going to be a good matchup today. Um, probably going to be the more even in that game. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we've been working on a lot of the strategy this week. So, so you're, you're somebody that I've seen develop. You've always had a touch for the net. You know, let me ask you, you're, you're in double net. So, is that, uh, how does that develop? How do you develop that scoring touch? Because a lot of people can do the trick plays and this and that, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Talk, talk to me about that. A lot of it, I think, is who I'm playing with. Like, uh, how I am the guy, someone I'm playing with, and that's not obviously me. So, a lot of my goals from my other players. So, without them, I'm going to do that. How do you feel about chemistry? So you know, there's somebody also that can see the whole thing. I mean, I see you play, I want to go back to the National State Championship. I mean, you had two critical goals. Um, how do you see, with so much going on, how do you see that that guy's open? Do you hope that he's open? Do you see where he is? So you gotta know, just kind of know that what he does and his speed and where he's gonna be. Well, um, really. A lot of it's like timing, stuff you have to work on in practice. Uh, I'd say like the biggest thing for that is like, yeah, a little bit of luck. Especially in oh, exactly. this league, luck's a big part of it. You gotta make sure the guy, you gotta know who you're passing to, who you're getting the puck to. And, uh, I think the speed, like you said, is a big part of it. Like you have to like, measure the speed. So, we're, we're talking about the USPHL, and uh, it was one of the best leagues out there. Um, I just want to talk to you about your ability. Because a lot of guys, they want to stay home where there's that one place they're going to play. Not you. I mean, you play everywhere. You've been to the top of the Now you're playing in New York State. What's it like? How do you sell it? It can't be easy. No, it's, and I'm proud of you for doing that. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, I struggle like with school. That's a big struggle for me. Um, a lot of it's like trust, like uh, relationships. There's a lot of trust with my family. We got to be able to trust there. We got to be with my parents. So that's a big part of it. And you know, that's something that you know, shame on me for not bringing up. How do you handle that school hockey balance? It can't be easy. Um, I think the biggest thing. Probably, I have a, the little off time that I have, I do it. I have a lot of help from my teachers. They always help me out with it. Uh, when I need a day off, they'll help me out with that. Day off. That's right. So how do you do that? I sit in the hot tub. <laughs> Stay nice in the hot tub with my legs. That's excellent. So let me ask you this. They're both crazy about the ice tub and the start of that. Is. I've done that yet. I've not done that yet either. Right? I want to, but uh, it snowed the other day and it would have been so me and my buddy would have laid in the snow for a little bit. Nice. But uh, that's about the closest to it I've gotten. So on the ice, are you a chirper? Yeah. Last time I chirped, I got kicked off the ice. So, so no anymore. chirping. I'm a chirper. <laughs> Very good. Um, last thing, you know, some of them both are not playing in the NHL and they never can miss it. Talks about the sanctity of not even the locker but of the bus. And I knew that from when I played. Explain to people what that bus ride is like and how intimate it is, how you just be yourself. Um, a big part of it is like long bus rides are very boring. Like the worst. Uh, I try to sleep most of the time. So you're a sleeper? Yeah, I sleep 
like today we had about a six hour ride. I slept the whole way. Um, we just played like, we play games on our phones with each other. A lot of the guys today were playing along with us on the bus for like three hours. We didn't have that back then. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's cool. That's cool. So, you know, to those of uh, mutual friends back in Fresno, you went to the Indian Lake City. Thank you for the support. I said, I love this guy. <laughs> I absolutely love him. This is Jack Revan for the PSF app. For the Fresno, for Fresno West Coast Talk and for the again for the first time on the podcast with Pamela. Okay, never mind. Way to go.